come in, come in. So this is where my husband Imran and I have been calling home for the past two years. When I was house hunting, I wanted to find something that suits my personality. And when I saw this heritage home, its black and white facade spoke to me immediately. So come on in. This is our herb garden where we harvest some herbs for our kitchen. Just gonna grab some mint for later. This is where I like to have my morning coffee, slow down and unwind, chill out before the madness begins. I guess I describe my home as comfortable, cozy and minimalistic. When we hear the term minimalism, we think less is more, but I feel like less doesn't have to be boring. To me, minimalism is living with intention and accessorizing purposefully, which is why I'm also very selective with the things that I display at home. For example, we have this crochet piece here that's done by my mom. She doesn't live in Singapore, so this piece reminds me of her. It is very important for my house to feel like a home. You know, ultimately, it's my space to relax and unwind after a long day. As you can tell, I'm really into wooden textures and early tones. I feel like they help to ground the space by making it more warm and inviting. a particular story, like this teapot set that I commissioned from a local potter for my tea ceremony. I like that it's a marriage of Chinese and Malay ceramic elements. We have the Malay bamboo handle as well as the Chinese jade finishing. Can you guess what this is? This is a vintage ironing board from Sweden, which I thought to use as a console for candles, photo frames and photo albums. Really nice that our guests can flip through the photo albums to relive our special memories of us. Because there are a lot of wooden textures going on, I thought to soften up the space by using curtains, carpets, fabric, seat covers so that it gives it a more cozy and homely feeling. This is the indoor kitchen. Even though it's a kitchen, I still fill it with memories like pictures, Polaroids and passed down recipes. I feel like the personal doesn't just need to be limited to the living space. Minimalist living to me is all about living with intention and finding joy in what you keep. So if we need more space to prep meals, we have an outdoor space. Let's go. I'm going to make myself a cup of coffee and we have the Nespresso Virtual next. It can help you brew 30 over coffee blends across various cafe inspired styles. If you love an espresso like Imran or you want pour over coffee or you just want iced coffee like myself, the Virtual next can do it for you and it's a dream for any minimalist. Since we're here, I'm going to teach you how to make my go-to coffee, an iced mint latte. We'll add four ice cubes and then add some milk. The machine actually detects the barcode on the capsule to optimize the amount of water needed as well as to determine the ideal temperature to brew your coffee. All at a touch of one button. And what I like to do is to add mint leaves on top to make it more refreshing. And there you go, an iced mint latte. So this is my outdoor dining area. I like to get some work done as well as have a cup of coffee out here because it's more peaceful and quiet. With the new coffee machine, I feel like I'm working in a cafe because I can have my coffee anywhere I want. And that's how I lead my minimalist lifestyle.